sample quiz. I'm going to solve some sample quiz from our uh, API 653 uh, storage tank inspector full course. Uh, you can uh, try this yourself for free. Uh, this course is worth 60 CPD credit hours, continuing professional development, has 8 hours of video, 208 lectures, 1300 questions and 3000 flashcards. A pass first time or free renewal and you can also study our first and second model for free. It's got 120 days, 24-7 access and uh, we got WhatsApp line, technical query, general query, and access and IT that you can contact us and we normally answer within minutes during working hours. So let's go to, uh, you can also study the first and second model for free. I'm going to benchmark quiz and we will solve some 20 questions here. So all our questions are uh, book exam question are timed and here only but the progress is shown and they are also book exam question they're flagged off uh, so same as api exams so question number one welders shall be qualified in accordance with uh, asthma section nine and remember section five is for ndt procedures uh, AWS D11 is for a structural welding code and uh, API 1104 is for welding of uh, pipelines and it doesn't give you the uh, welder performance qualification or welding procedure specification it gives you the acceptance criteria next question uh, upon completion of welding of the new tank button, the welder shall the weld shall be inspected by which of the following methods. Now you might want to do radiography or penetrant test, uh, but it's not uh, unless it's specified. It's not a must, but you surely need to do a vacuum test that to see that uh, the weld that you have, has been done is uh, leak tight. So always answer the uh, best. Uh, choose the best answer. That's what API wants from you. So the other thing might be right in case it's required. Penetrant test and radiograph. Uh, hammer test we don't do on the tank button after the repair. Um, but the vacuum air or air pressure test is, is a bust. And uh, so that's the best answer. Minimum thickness of tank bottom annual ring plate which is the most critical part of the bottom of the sh uh, storage tank with no provision of leak detection shall not be less than 0.1 inch uh, if you have a lining that is thicker than 0 0.05 inch then the minimum could be reduced to 0 0.05 inch so one thickness of shell place shall be 45 millimeter so this is in construction code. You put the reference here. The double welded butt joint is a joint between two abutting parts lying in approximately the same plane. So here the same plane, all the butt fields are always in the same plane. Being in tank shells with larger than two inch nozzle shall be reinforced. So this is coming from API 650, reinforcement and welding. So anything of, uh, of uh, nozzles bigger than MPS2, flange or trigger nozzle shall be reinforced. Another bottom place shall have a radial width that provides at least 24 inches between the inside of the shell and any lap welded joint in the remainder of the bottom. So it's the critical joint uh, and this is coming from the formula in API 650. So whatever you have calculated on that formula, it can be less than 24 inch. That's a cap. 
the acceptability of wells examined by radiography shall be judged by asthma section 8. General bottom place must extend a minimum of 2 inch. So the 2 inch is the correct answer from outside the tank shell. Maximum operating temperature for tanks constructed to be API 650, not including appendices here, it says. Uh, so it should be 200 degree Fahrenheit or 93 degree centigrade. Uh, if it is more than 200 degree Fahrenheit, up to 500 uh, degree Fahrenheit or 260 degree centigrade, then Appendix uh, Annex M would be applicable. Or the other uh, version of question would be when Annex M is applicable and then with that range of temperature. Responsible for compliance with API 650 standard. So it's always manufacturer. And it's also mentioned about the responsibility in API 650. So it's always the manufacturer responsible for WPS, for NDT, for welder qualification, for NDT technician qualification, for the procedure, and for the materials. A new tank is under construction. How many radiographs are required on the first course of vertical welds if the shell is 35 millimeter thick? So anything above 25 millimeter, it should be fully radiographed or 100% of the vertical joints. Here would be the answer. Repairs of defects shall not be attempted on a tank that's filled with oil. Now you got, this is an easy answer, it's common sense. Uh, I mean, oil is also brought in API 650. Nitrogen is an inert gas. It doesn't create any fire or explosion, same as water, grain, uh, same thing. It's, it's not immediately catching fire. So oil here is got high flammability and it should not be, uh, re the well should not be repaired while there is oil but it should be cleaned and gas fluid and then the, the be done. Reinforcing place of shell penetration shall, give, shall be given an air test in accordance with API 650. So again, you know, if you do a tank, tank repair, tank bottom repair or shell plate, you should do that. We have explained that where is it coming from? And obviously they will not be asking you about uh, the pressure. It's 15 PSI, but uh, unless it's an open book question that you need to go and find the answer in API 650. Ultrasonic method of examination shall be in accordance with ASM section five. Remember that uh, the procedure and the method of examination for NDE, all of the NDEs, RT, VT, UT, MT, PT, shall be done according to ASMA Section 5. WPS and Builder Qualification should be done according to ASMA Section 9. Okay, so that's a code requirement. It can't be agreed between purchase and all. The columns shall be effectively guided at their basis to prevent lateral movement on the column basis. So this makes sense. If you have lateral movements, then tank will become disabled. And if there is a number, they say how much you should resist the vertical movement of columns, um, it's three inch. That's a minimum requirement that it should resist. You know, up to three inch, the columns can move with respect to tank and still, you know, uh, stay safe. Uh, but this would be a open book question if there is a number involved otherwise you just this is a common sense yep. an appendix becomes a requirement only when the purchaser specifies the requirement and so uh, obviously the purchase order uh, it uh, supersedes uh, the codes standards and recommended practices that's mentioned in it uh, but uh, as long as it does not violate any code requirement 
So when it becomes a requirement or become mandatory, uh, any annexes of say API 650, it's not violating the code. Uh, it's just something over and extra. Shell place with a thickness over 40 millimeter shall be normalized. So you can should be uh, over 45 millimeter is not allowed and over 40 millimeters should be normalized, quenched and tempered and fine grained and killed uh, and any brittle fracture. The client has requested the top course of tank to be half an inch thick. The maximum thickness of all other courses is 3 by 8 inch. Now you can see here 3 by 8 inch is less than half an inch or 4 by 8 inch. Uh, so you cannot uh, have a shell course above uh, another shell I should and it's thicker so it's also to be always uh, less than that or at most equal to the shell below it so this is a code requirement and this would be a violation the manufacturer should not accept that so thank you for uh, you can look at the view the result here you just put in your email and then you can view all the your results and it will also come a copy will come to your email uh, thank you for listening and see you see you in other videos